we are going to open up our our uh, rotisserie kit from Master Built for the grill and uh, assemble it, put it on the grill. see what we got some styrofoam another box and another box nice and heavy and of course some instructions very nice Got some uh, power cord, some plugs for all kinds of different. We got US, we got European. I don't know what we got here. We got three or four of them. quality got a bag with some parts screws it's like a bracket that it goes on you can give you a nice little wrench and these are the forks Step one, move the rotisserie plug and insert the motor and the adapter. Interesting. This would be the adapter. Goes in there, and he looks like a screwdriver. And I'll be back. Actually, I do not need a screwdriver. This tool works. So I'm going to remove this plug. Unscrews. Plug comes out. Just the adapter goes in there. That's not right. That's the other way. Well now, 
It's got two parts. Aha. Those go, I wonder. Oh, look at that. Does this way. fancy tool to tighten it up. Which is easier said than done. There we go. One more for good measure. Yep. Step one complete. Just a note. See on here, don't operate the rotisserie at temperatures that exceed 450 degrees. I'm going to be smoking every time I rotisserie not grilling, so that won't be a problem. Number two, neck flange, I already did that. Rod support goes on this side. This would be the rod support. Screw the neck flange into the motor. Did that. Use M4 hardware to screw in the rod support bracket. And there are some holes pre drilled in the grill that I see over here. There's three of them. How about that? I don't think our fancy tool is going to work in here so I am gonna have to go get a screwdriver I'll be right back the bottom screw there the uh, nuts that were built into the side of the case here it was offset and uh, that's about as good as I can get it I mean it's tight the screw is tight not moving it's just crooked but the other two are fine and it's not going anywhere it's solid all right back over here let's cut our wire tie so we got three we only need one at a time. Wonder why I got three. Uh, this is for, I bet, the 560, the 800, and the 1050 grill. So I'm going to assume, since they're different lengths, I'm going to assume that one, the middle one, since it's in the middle.
test the vent here. Yep. I guess I assumed right. The middle one fits perfectly. So what I'm going to do now, I think, um, is I'm going to put one of these forks on. So I know where about the middle is, where I want my bird. Probably right there. Yeah, right about there probably. So let's get that on there. inside and just bring the whole thing out and stick it on there but now I'll know where I want the end of that so my bird will be pretty much in the center of the grill over the heat where I want it and all that's left is to plug it in long cord that's good just like the uh, the main unit and let's figure out our adapter not that one I'm in the US so got this one If I can figure it out, you gotta be a gotta be a rocket science. What scientists figure this out? Apparently, well, it's got a button down there. Now you could read the instructions, Scott. Who wants to do that? Not I. Aha! And it clicks in place. There we go. Got it. It's nice though. They give us three different ends. So depending on where you live and the kind of outlets you got, we got all three, all four types here. Not sure where they're from. If you know, leave a comment down there and tell me what which one is the little prongs. I think well, it doesn't matter, but I know the one I got, so I'm not even going to try to guess. So I'm going to give us a plug in. My outlet's over here. I'm going to have to unplug my bug zapper and hope I can put this upside down. I can. I think I'm gonna run those under that map here in a minute so we don't trip on them. It's a nice heavy duty cable. I like that so I can, it'll withstand some weather. If I leave it out here over the summer, it's fine. put it back on there. I 
And there you have it. An assembled rotisserie. Ready to smoke some meat. Have a good one. I just wanted to pop back in here and comment on these extra rods about what I should do with them. I think Masterbuilt should send me a 560 and a 1050 grill to test with. What do you all think? Leave a comment down below if you think Masterbuilt should provide some testing of those grills. We all want to see them.